Good morning, everybody. Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Oh, and we've got some jobs lined up today. So I've got some big jobs on that I want to do further on down in the day. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. If you want to watch an oh, no, no, at the end, uh, <laughs> ring the bell and um, I'll see you in a bit. So today's big job. So what I want to do is I've got all this space at the top up here. I want to put some nice cupboards in there so then um, I can hide all the stuff away and it looks nice and neat. You can see I've got the air pump up there so that'd be nice to hide that as well. So um, we need to build a frame, measure up the doors, get the doors in, stuff like that and then um, we can make it look nice and pretty. So uh, we can get the bits and bobs we need and then um, I'll show you what cupboards we're going to use and then uh, we can start cutting and making the frames and stuff. The doors I've got the one I'm actually going to use has actually got handles on it. So they're going to be up there like that, and they're going to fold up and out the way. So we uh, need to mock it all up and stuff like that, and then uh, make it look nice and pretty. And then uh, hopefully it's going to look good. So we're going to step by step build it. Mocking it all up, just having a look, seeing where it's gonna, what's going to go where, and I've just found another job we've got to do. Wow, you can see into next door, that's no good. See the shop. No good, we've got to fix that, fill it up with stuff, and then uh, put a board over it. I've had a look in the roof as well. Ooh, I think what we've got to do, we're going to have to drill through these to get the starter post, and then um, we can go from there then. So I'm going to have to drill some holes, screw some stuff in, and I'm still mocking it up at the moment, working out the spacing of the doors. I was hoping to have them all nice, neat and tidy, and, uh, and butting up next to each other. But I've got like half a door's worth left. So I'm going to have to space this out between them. So it means I've got to get some paint and paint the gaps and stuff. So um, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Live it all out and then I'll let you know. Everybody, so I've made a bit of progress. We've built the frame. So we've got the frames ready for the doors. What I've got to do now, I've got to put another piece of wood up here for the hinges to go on to. And then we've got to mock the first one up. Then we've got to do the next stage and pack them all out so they all fit nice and even. So uh, that's what we've got so far. All nice and framed in. So uh, we'll crack on, do the next couple of bits. And then I need a piece on the end and so on and so forth. So we'll crack on and do that. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to leave it open in there and then just have the doors separating it all off and not put panels in there uh, it seems a bigger space remember this isn't the finished thing I've still got to paint all the wood and stuff like that but got the first door on da 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 <laughs> so first door's on happy days so I've got to work out me packing difference so the piece of wood I'm going to put in here is a spacer and then I think it's just another one of them so I'll just put another one of them there and that will fill out the gap and then we can put the next one and then the next one so fingers crossed it should all line up and I shouldn't have any gaps but we never know so fingers crossed but it was almost there oh, I had to go on an adventure to B&Q because I was missing some bits and bobs so I'm missing the bit this clips on to so what we had to do, we had to go to B&Q and get a bunch with the full kit. So we're just going to be swapping these all over, like so. And then uh, I've got some extra screws, I've got some paint to paint the wood. So we should be able to finish it all off today. Number two. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. I think that looks pretty well nice and neat as well. So I'm happy with that, I think it's coming along really well. So we've just got to cut another block to go here. And then we can put that in here, and then we're done in here. Yes. There we go. We've got all the cupboards on. They're all working. Woo -wee. So I'm happy with that. I've got my paint to paint it all now. So what I've done. We've got carpet inside, look, carpet. So I've got to put the capping end on, block her off, do some hoovering, and then uh, do some painting to finish it off, and then we're done. 
Here we go, look at them bad boys. Lovely jubbly. Look at that now, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get some paint. Oh, I've got some masonry paint, so it's nice and thick and stuff like that, because I'm painting the wood. And then, uh, hopefully it's gonna all look nice and it's gonna match the colors. Touch wood. Ooh. Yuck. We need something to stir it up with. Stir it up. Oh, we've got the mixing stick, a bit of trunking. Wow, lovely. Look at them now. That is proper job, that is. I am really happy with that now. So, literally, so I'm probably going to have to paint it again because wood is very thirsty. So, uh, it soaks up a lot of the paint. So, uh, I'll show you little bits that I've done at the start that are dry now. You can see how much it's soaked up all the paint. See how it's soaking it all up? So, uh, hopefully towards the end, I can maybe have to get another coat on it. But I think today, we're going to have to uh, get it dry and put another coat on tomorrow. What we're going to do now is we're going to get a job ready for tomorrow. Ho ha ha. So, I've got Excalibur, my mighty blade, and we're going to cut out that glass panel of the broken tank. And then um, we're going to, then tomorrow, we can get the jig set up, get the glass in the right position, and then we can glue it in and we'll be raring to go. So, so we're gonna get prepped up, we're gonna cut it all out, get rid of the glass safely, and then um, get it cleaned and ready for gluing tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's Z panel, and there's me broken bit of glass. So that's no good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, so there's no seam sealer on the outside, it's all on the inside. So we're gonna have to cut that seam sealer out, and then take the glass away and then we can double check that my new piece is going to fit and then uh, we can go from there Whoa -ha. Do, do, do. So we should be a little bit loosey goosey. Oh. No, we're still quite tight. So I'm going to go a couple more goes around, make sure I've cut it all, and then uh, it should pop out. I don't know what we're going to do now. I'm just going to go home and give up. I just broke Excalibur. Oh well, get another blade. I'm gonna have to retire Excalibur, I'm afraid he broke. I managed to get rid of that bit. That's come off, but it is all glued behind as well. So each bit's been glued at the back and then glued at the sides as well. So uh, each bit we've got to wiggle it a bit, get a little bit of an edge to come, and then we've got to cut it with the blade. So uh, slowly, slowly wins the race when you're taking out glass, because we don't want to damage any of this. But we clean all this up with a nice sharp Stanley blade afterwards, get all rid of all the the glue and then uh, we'll be raring, raring to go. Didn't quite go to plan. I broke the panel. And I do myself a good one. But we're okay, we're okay. Just leaking a little bit. So it's probably gonna be easy to get the glass out like this to be fair. I was trying to be posh and get it all out in one piece. But that's no good. But good thing I'm on my own because we don't want blood everywhere with other people about. So, uh, first aid time, I think. Yes, definitely. So, wash myself up, hoover up all the glass, wash up all the blood, disinfect and everything, and we'll be okay. Oh, yeah, I've uh, made a bit of a mess, bit of a mess. Okay, I didn't want that hand anyway. That's, what I, that's why I did it, I didn't want this hand. I'm just gonna get rid of it in the end, so that's why I'm knocking it about a bit. 
Oh, I made a mess. Oh, I did. But luckily, next door I had some plasters because I couldn't get to the box to get the first aid kit. So I just went around and bought some. But uh, we've got to clean up my mess, clean up my blood, and then uh, job's never finished unless you've bled on it. I can prove that as well. Ta da, see you <laughs> <laughs> Tower Church, I was not finished, let's go blood on it. I caught myself on one of the screws when I was doing it, but I didn't show you that. But, uh, so I've got to clean that as well. <laughs> oh, don't start with me in t building. So, uh, we will clean this mess up, and then get the rest of the glass out, and I think I'll probably call it a day then, because we're not doing very well. <laughs> there we go, we're all cut out, lovely jubbly now. So what I've got to do is tomorrow, is we'll cut the seam sealer out, and then we can slot in our new piece of glass. So, uh, I see I've cleaned up all my glass and all that in there, and my blood. So, uh, I'm about to put extra stuff on, because this one's a good bleeder, this one is. <laughs> That's the second, no, third plaster I've had to go for the big one, so it just keeps blowing them out. But, uh, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. Still got all my fingers, it's the main thing. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm not gonna do any more now, it's just it's too much now, and I need to let me Andy heal. So, uh, we're gonna be, we we'll throw that away, get that out the way, out the nasties. And then uh, that's probably going to be it for today. So I shall say goodbye in a sec. Thank you then everybody. That's it for today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And ring the bell. I hope you like my new cupboards and stuff like that. And if you want any little tips on that, how I did it, just give me a little message in the description and I'll tell you every little step by step bit I did. I didn't want to put the full thing in there because it's just a bit boring. So, uh, but tomorrow we're going to do some stuff with some animals tomorrow. Then we've got feeding day on Sunday. So, uh, we're going to have an animal, animal weekend, we are, but I'm still going to do a little bit in here tomorrow, but mostly it's going to be, what's it called? Animals. So, uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. If you want to watch another video, it should be up there, no, down there. And if you want to watch a playlist, that's up there. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that's the one that's up there. So, I'll uh, see you in the future. Bye.